So after a few months, I recently was able to platinum Hades on the PlayStation 5, and what a game it is. Probably my game of the year for 2021. I cannot see a game coming out or playing a game for the rest of this year, which will top the experience that I have with this game. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to take you through my experience of earning the platinum trophy. If you want to see my review of this game, you can watch it by clicking up above. I've spoke about this game endlessly over every single monthly update. I don't want to tire you if you heard this before as to why I love Hades so much. It is really just such a fantastic game, but I'm going to take you through the three steps on how I earned the Platinum Trophy because I felt like there was three very distinctive stages for this game for earning the Platinum Trophy. So for those who don't know, Hades is a rogue-like, over-the-top dungeon crawler game. You're dropped in the underworld and your objective is to, as Zagreus, to escape the underworld and escape your father Hades. Now, you do this by running through the dungeons, getting through all of the biomes, and finally escaping by facing a few bosses along the way. There is these things called boons which are given to you by the gods. The gods being, I think there's 8 to 10 in total, you know, we've got the generic ones, we've got Hermes, we've got Zeus, we've got Poseidon, and they all give you very different powers and they all make the runs so different every single time. There's just so much potential to be had in this game just from the boons alone and then mix it in with the weapons, the weapon upgrades you can pick up along the way. It just makes for such a rewarding experience, which guys, is it's just really, really more. So I found myself jumping in and jumping out of this game every single day for 30 minutes to an hour. So I would jump in, play a game or two and that would be it and I'd be more than happy to put it down. It was just a great game where you can just get little bite-sized chunks of this amazing masterpiece of a game and that's probably why I loved it so much. Okay, so there's three distinctive stages to earn the platinum that I found. So it took me 120 hours to earn the platinum trophy in this game. Some people say it's about 60 to 70 hours. I spent a lot of time dying, messing about and there's RNG trophies which do... I didn't get a good hand with the RNG trophies unfortunately. So the first stage is the 1 to 10 hours. This stage is where you just die. You spend your first 10 hours just dying and dying and dying and you have to know going into this game that you know, you're going to die a lot. And I think it took me around eight hours to actually make my first full run and actually get out of the underworld. When you die, you earn coins, you earn currency, which you can then upgrade Zagreus, which makes the runs easier. You can upgrade your weapons and so on and so forth. There's also a god mode. So the god mode, the way it works is every time you die, you get 2% more damage resistance up to 80%. Now I finished this game. Basically, it goes from 20% it starts on to 80. I actually finished the game on about 60%. So I died, you know, only died about 20 to 30 times in the end. It comes to a point where you just keep dying just so you can restart the conversations in the main hub base in the actual underworld. Because you need to activate certain conversations for certain quests and things like that. Without the god mode, it would still be a, it would be a challenging game. However, I am pretty confident that without the god mode, I could have done it. Because by the time you're about 25 hours in, you have mastered the game and you don't actually need the god mode. The god mode, if anything, is just kind of a, a neat, nice way to introduce you to give you that chance to get better at the game for the first 25 hours before you become good enough for the actual game. Which leads me on to my second stage of this Platinum, which is the 10 to 50 hours. Now this, as I've already mentioned, kind of is the get good stage. Now what you have to do on this one is just keep getting out of the underworld, keep playing, keep completing runs. You've got to make sure you earn as much nectar as you can because you have to give, it's between six and eight, I think it's eight nectars to each of the gods and other characters. You pretty much got to give out about 150 nectars. What I recommend you do is once you've earned enough keys to unlock all of the upgrades at the mirror for Zagreus, I recommend that you just swap your keys for nectars at the shop. It is the fastest way to get as much nectar as you want. I was pretty much running around the whole game with six to 10 nectars in my person, in my inventory at all times because I was doing this method. So what you wanna do is on this step is just, as I've said, try and unlock all the weapons, give out all the nectar to everybody and make sure you're always talking to everybody when you die. That is an essential thing for later on, especially for Achilles. Achilles and the vendor in the third underworld Lysium, you need to make sure you're always talking to them because that was the last trophy for me in this game just because you have to basically level both those up with Nectar to 8 and then do their quest and then give them Ambrosias. Okay, next the final stage, which was the longest stage, which was the end game, which was 50 hours to 120 hours. Basically, you don't get the real ending, the epilogue, until you max out your relationship with, I think it's 6 out of the 8 gods, by giving them Nectar, doing their quest, and finally giving them an Ambrosia. When you do that, that is at the point where you finally get the end game and then all you've really got to do in this stage is a few things is the god favors so to max out your relationship with each of the gods you have to do one of their quests they are very simple or they're very hard it just depends on the god and you're going to have to research each one this is where a bit of thought comes into this trophy list it is quite a complicated trophy list i'm not going to say it's straightforward it really isn't but what i will say is if you just play the game and you make sure you're talking to everybody always getting the new boons always choosing the boons you haven't already unlocked and giving out nectar 
by the time you get to 60, 70 hours, you kind of know the game well enough to actually understand why and what you need to be doing for certain quests. But that's the key thing is make sure you get all the god favors. Next is the weapon aspects. So there's four weapons. They each have four different aspects. But the last aspect is a certain certain upgrade which needs to be upgraded in a certain way. You have to find a certain character and they have to say a certain thing to you when you're holding a certain weapon. That's where the RNG comes into it. One of them is with Zeus, one of them is with uh, Chaos from the Underworld, one of them is from the Minotaur, and the other one, I can't remember who, who, who that's from, I think it's Achilles. And you basically have to say certain things with them and clear enough Underworld with enough weapons that you can actually unlock those. It can be a little bit annoying, which is why I recommend that you just work on that one while you're grinding out the Nectars. Focus on the Nectars and focus on doing those certain little things for each of the weapon aspects. Finally leads us on to the summons. Now the summons are very, very end game. You don't get them until you've maxed out your relationships with the characters in the underworld, not the gods. You need to maximize your relationship with the likes of Achilles, with Dusa, with Thanatos. And when you do that, again, it's a case of just giving them nectar. What I recommend you do with Thanatos, who was my last, second last one after Achilles, is whenever he's there, always give him a nectar. And if he's not there, he will appear in the underworld once you've died, so make sure you always go next to Achilles and speak to him. Because him and Achilles took me the longest times, probably an extra 20 hours to get the Platinum, because I waited so long on those summons. And then when you've done that, the Platinum trophy is yours. And what I'm going to say is, guys, i played so many long grindy games, from Skyrim to Dragon Age to Dragon Quest XI. Grindy games, and although this game has a lot of RNG in it, I really didn't find it that bad. Honestly, that is the thing. Like This game has been one of those games where I've never, ever not enjoyed playing it. There's never been a moment where I've thought, okay, I need to keep grinding this out for another, another 10 hours. I remember when I was in my last stretch of the game, I was like, I really enjoyed the gun, the rail gun, the adamant gun or whatever it's called, adamant rail. It was a really funnest way to play in my, in my experience. And I remember just being like, okay, well, I've done all the weapon aspects. Now I just get to play Hades with the gun, which is what I want to play it with. And I had a blast. My last 10 hours, I was like, okay, this game is fantastic. And I don't care that I've got to keep playing it. And I finished it. And I actually did another run once I finished the game. When I got the Platinum, I was like, yeah, okay, one more run. And now I'm at the point where I'm generally thinking about getting it for the Nintendo Switch so I can just continue to play it. It is such a great game. So would I recommend this game to you? It's 120 hours. So if you're not prepared to stick the commitment in, I would say no. You know, you've got to be prepared to say this game is long, but this game is goddamn fantastic. If you like roguelikes, if you like dungeon crawlers, it is a great game. If you're not too sure, Maybe pick it up, play on a blank account, see if you enjoy it. But if you're like me, you will have a blast playing Hades. And I'm sad my time with it has come up, come to an end. And now I've actually got to stop making videos on it, which is which is a shame. I might, might, might mention it one more time in my last in my update for November. But other than that, that'll be me saying goodbye to Hades for a while. So on that, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know down below if you've earned the Platinum for Hades. I'd love to know. And take it easy.